have very little time. So we have to run through this so we can be able to do some confession. And um, this month is the month of the unveiling of his glory. You know, the unveiling of his glory. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3 to verse 5. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Isaiah chapter 40, from verse 3. I'm now in verse 4. Every valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The crooked shall be made straight. The rough places, yes, that project presentation on Thursday is successful. Already successful. You have an amazing presentation and you have victory in the name of Jesus. So, um, he said, he said, the mountain, let's read it. Isaiah chapter 40. I'm in verse 4 now. Every valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Then verse 5. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. All flesh will see that glory of God revealed in your life. Now, the devotion I read, the unveiling of the glory of God within and upon us is a continuous process that we keep having for all our existence on this side of heaven. So, the unveiling of God's glory is a continuous process. You will keep having the unveiling of His glory in your life for all the years you spend here on earth. It will keep going and keep coming and keep coming. All right? So, it's something that is cons consistent. It is a constant that will continue in our lives. However, there are times and seasons that God brings forth the manifestation of His glory in our lives in a massive and unique way. So that's one of the seasons we're in now. So He's bringing forth the revelation of His glory upon us and within us. So it's like it's, it's like when you have a situation where you're having like 10 measures of glory being revealed, you know, from day to day, and then suddenly they just come to release and reveal like 1,000 measures of God's presence. And it's just going from 1,000 to 2,000. And it just goes like that. Then it, it comes out to a constant. And then maybe it's like a 1,000. And it comes out then Suddenly, boom, they just go to like 100,000. And then they continue and continue. And then they maintain that as a constant. And then, boom, they go to like 10 million. So at those times, God speaks <laughs> specifically. These are every revelation times. We will all have several experiences of this type of season scattered all through our existence here in the physical. This unveiling of the glory of God is the revelation or unveiling of the glory within and upon. There's glory within you. All right? Yes, I believe your project for the week is successful already. Completed. Perfect. You have that in the name of Jesus. And you are precious. You are precious. You understand? Abidim, you are precious. 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 All right? So be, be watching it. That's what I'll be to. You are precious. Precious. That's the feeling of your father towards you. You are precious. Precious. Precious and precious and precious. Yes, you are precious. Don't let the don't let any other thing tell you otherwise. You are precious. You are precious. You are precious. Precious. Precious to God. Precious to your Father. Precious. Precious. You are precious. All right. I can feel what the Father is feeling. You are precious. So that, that has to sink into your spirit. You are precious. You are precious. Precious. All right. So he said, this unveiling of the glory of God is the revelation and the unveiling of the glory within and upon us. So there's a glory within that God is unveiling. There's a glory upon. There is the glory of God within us. These are the manifestation of his abilities. The glories within our abilities. Talents. Strengths. That are not ordinary. God brings them out. So capacities that are within you come out. 
That's glory within being revealed. You understand? Glory within you being revealed. There is, uh, uh, okay. There is the glory of God upon us. These are manifestations of all types from his presence around us to favor, to all manner of physical blessings and of, of the good things of life. The glory of God upon you has to do with things like presence of God, things like favors that you experience. <laughs> uh, uh, what's that? Sholaja. Yes, you are precious too. All of us are precious in God's sight. And sometimes when God is repeating those things to someone, it's because he wants that person to become, you know, the personification of what he says. You understand? I'm God's favorite. I know you are also God's favorite, every one of us. But that's the revelation. I'm God's favorite. Favorite. The things that God shares with me. Hmm? You know, because there are things I know that is not big. Yes, I study the scriptures, but I'm telling you, it's not based on study. There are people who study Bible more than me. But the things I know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I'm a favorite. <laughs> it's favorite. <laughs> and you, are, you have to have your own. Some of us, you are your God's, your God's uh, uh, um, um, jewel. You understand? Your God's beloved. There's one one of my daughters, uh, Avila. I used to tell her, your God loves you. God loves you so much. God loves you so, so, so much. Your God's beloved. Beloved. God's beloved. God's beloved. Nadia, yes, your God's favorite too. Yes. God's favorite. God's favorite. <laughs> hmm? You, God has, you know, the, the, our, our mothers... And some of our fathers. My wife's father is later on. He's the one that gives people all these special names. Arik, Arike, uh, Akweke, Akonke. You know, those, if you're a Yoruba person, you understand what these, these names, they are not the regular names. Like my name, Ulua Shegun, you know, it means um, the Lord, the Lord has given me victory. Or the Lord, you know, like you, you want to put it in, the other way you call it Godwin. You know, God wins or God God has won. But when you call somebody Akweke, ah, Arike means this one. Arike means this one. Everybody that sees him or her, and they use it particularly for the females. Anybody that sees her must, you know, must um, treat her in a very special way. Treat her specially care for her specially and once you set your eyes on her like this you begin to care specially that thing comes on you arike you understand those are deep names so when god begins to say things like you're precious you're my beloved you're my favorite those that's what god is doing is is draw you into into his bosom as his child you say god but if i'm your favorite what about all the others forget about all the others it's you now you you are the focus Hmm? You are the focus. Yes, you are the focus. You are the focus. Yeah. And your fair. <clears throat> ah, uh, that's a powerful name. One of us, um, uh, you know, God, God changed her name from what it was to and your fair Lua. And your fair. And your fair beloved. That beloved in English is not uh, deep. And your fair is very deep. And your fair. Meaning, this one was chosen among all, among the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. Still, she was still chosen specially. Not because she was the best. You understand? They put all the best and this one doesn't look like anything. But they still chose that one. And you're fed the chosen, the, the one that is chosen to be loved. Yes. Yes, chosen. Chosen. And you're fair. And you're fair. Oh, uh, my language is, uh, is very deep. Very, very deep. And you're fair. They, they chose it. it is, it's even deep, deeper than being chosen. It's like this one. This one 
is separate from all others. We pull this one apart from all others and pick this one as our precious one that we want to show special love. You can imagine all the expressions I'm giving to express just one word and you're fair. English is not deep. English is too flat. That's why everybody has to speak it. <laughs> it's a language that everybody should be speaking. That's why God has allowed it to be more popular than every other language. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you want to learn Yoruba, Yoruba is uh, deep. It's simple too, but very deep. And you're fair. It's not just beloved, what you say, beloved. Oh, beloved is too flat. And your fair is deep. It's deep. You understand? And your fair lua, yes. And your fair lua. And your fair lua, enemy, yes. Yes. All right, let's, let's, let's get back in there. So, the workings of the Spirit of God for manifesting these glories differ from one to another. But all are one constant. This constant is faith in God's promise. How do you allow the unveiling of the glory of God in your life? You have faith in God's promise to you. Faith. Faith. That's a constant. Just believe. Believe with all your heart. Believe with all your heart. You know, you, you, all of you are staring at me now. This and your fellow is very deep. That's why when, when we get to in the confession, you there's a place where I said towards the end of the confession, I always say, I am God's chosen, I am God's elect, I am God's beloved, and because He loves me, <laughs> because God loves you, there's nothing else. You are victorious, you are triumphant, you are successful. Nothing can resist you when you are God's beloved. All right. So, you need to believe in the revelation of God's glory in your life. You have to believe in it. That God is unveiling His glory. And that's a constant. And I pray that you will have the revelation, the unveiling of the glory of God in a dimension that is awesome this month of December. Pray this prayer with me and say, Father, help me to walk in the principles that allows the revelation, the unveiling of your glory that is within me and upon me in the name of Jesus. Pray that in the Holy Ghost of Papukana Reba Apiasko to Fribian Becananto Rigaba Pisofia Pedakalia Los Conompe Rigo Ofia Pesca Tedonda 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 Rakadam Papiapo Recosco Fia Pesco Tansi Antongo Bende Omanda Carregadaba Rigabosco Fia Pesco Tacanando A Rio Shofia Pesce Adaboco to Frebica Busco Daniana Cananda Orero Shofi Pesce to Tarianda A Rico Papica to Frabaconascona Yazias Tacatato Pipere Pipere Capamo Cosoria Nacaya In Jesus' mighty name We are prayed. We have very short time, so we'll do a short confession this morning. Can you say in the name of Jesus? I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. I am God's beloved. I am God's elect. I am God's chosen. And because he loves me, today I am victorious. <laughs> I am triumphant. I overcome all. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I am successful. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In the name of Jesus. Declare in the name of Jesus. I am born of God. God is love. I am love. I walk in love. I am born of God. God is holy. I am holy. I walk in purity. I do not sin. I am born of God. God is righteous. I am the righteousness of God. And I walk in the will of God. I stand approved before God and before all of God's creation in the name of Jesus. I am born of God. The spirit of Christ, the spirit of humility and the mind of humility of Christ is in me. So I am submissive to God, his will, his counsel, in the name of Jesus. The anointing and the power of the new move of God is in my life. I manifest 
the fullness of Christ's character. Thinking what Jesus would think. Saying what Jesus would say. Doing what Jesus would do. In all situations. In the name of Jesus. I manifest the fullness of Christ's power. I cast out devils. I lay us on the sick. They recover. In the name of Jesus. I manifest the fullness of Christ's wisdom. In all fields where I'm engaged. I create solutions. I find the answers. I do exploits by the wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus, I manifest the fullness of Christ's presence. Everywhere I am, the presence of God soaks the place. Sinners come to Christ. The sick are healed. Yes, oppression stops. Yokes are broken. Demons flee. The powers of hell are seized. And the glory of God covers the earth as waters cover the sea. In Jesus' name. All right, speak in tongues for some few minutes. I'm a few seconds.